Hello you guys, welcome to Journey with Char on this lovely Wednesday evening. I come to you with a um, small Pioneer Woman haul of some items I just recently purchased. Some things I have been waiting for for a long time and was shocked that I even got them. So let's get to it, you all. So let's start with the crock pots because we want to get those out of the way. Okay, so I was in Walmart, y'all. I did a post on it maybe about two weeks ago. That was probably about two weeks ago. And I had not been seeing these crock pots on um, the website. And I'm just like, I know I saw it on when she posted it on Instagram, but I did not see them when they were on the website. And I was just like, oh God. They do have the other one. It's the green and white gingham. But I love this set. This set is my favorite and we were in Walmart early in the morning one morning, mommy and I, during Black Friday and lo and behold, we saw this set for nine, nine, I think it was for $9.97. I did do a post on it. So anyway, let's get to it. This is my second mini crock pots that I got from her. Let's get the full name. 1.5 quart slow cooker crock pot. And I tell you, they are so pretty so we're gonna go around and look at this look at that sweet rose y'all I'm so obsessed with the sweet rose print it is so pretty and it is by far my favorite from pioneer woman but just look at the detail and these are just gorgeous perfect for year round you can use this for Christmas you can use this summer spring because it just it, it literally is a year round piece I think and it's just so beautiful and soft and just feminine it's just <laughs> the flowers are so gorgeous and I did do a test now this one she did not collaborate with Hamilton Beach so I don't know who um, made this for her but it's not with Hamilton Beach I do have the Hamilton Beach sets that I got maybe two years ago but this is different but anyway they seem to be the same size to me this is the top and these are just basically to keep your things warm. You can cook little things in here, um, but just basically to keep things warm. And we know that this is the um, stoneware right here. There we go. And then that is what that looks like in the inside. And she already tried it, y'all. She made sure that it works and it gets hot really, really fast. And so I was really happy about that. Then the red and white gingham, I was so happy. The green and white one is absolutely beautiful too. I was so happy to get the red and white one because for Christmas, this will be the one that I will use when I'm serving brunch, breakfast for family. If I'm doing dinner, gravy, you put it on the buffet. I just think that it is just that gingham is just so pretty. And that is all the way around the same thing print all the way around and then it's just off low high and then just keep warm and this as well I love the handle on this it's a good handle grip and this also has that same stoneware in the middle that keeps our ceramic or whatever it is that keeps it hot and then there we go I tried this one as well and it works perfectly okay once you take the stone this out this is very very light you want to make sure you don't bend it or crack it be very um, careful with that this is the beautiful mini 1.5 quart slow cookers by pioneer woman and they are just gorgeous I hope they still have them online and in the stores so mommy's gonna pull those to a side and the next thing um, we're gonna show here I saw this in the store I was in um, a Walmart that is not even in my area it's amazing how different Walmarts have different things and I saw this one in the store and they did have the red and white gingham one but I absolutely love this uh, sweet rose and I just I bought one of these and it is just so beautiful and then finally I'm so happy it took forever to get this guy see that's the cork this is sitting on that but anyway it took forever for me to get this guy yes I'm so excited about the sweet rose pitcher and this one is it doesn't say what size it is but this is the sweet rose pitcher now a lot of people were saying it was really really heavy it is a little heavy now you know when you put liquid in it it's going to be heavier so if you have issues with your 
um, fingers, um, arthritis, or arthritis or maybe you have wrist issues this may not be the picture you want to use now you can buy this picture and use it just for floral use only I'm gonna put I know I'm gonna use this definitely for flowers and I'm just too excited about it because I can just see beautiful floral arrangements in this it is really really pretty I love the base the texture of the base look at that is so beautiful and it's slim it's slimmer at the top and then as it go it's slimmer at the top and then as it moves down it's a little bit more wider I don't know if you can see that on camera just a little bit but the floral that sweet rose print again y'all I just cannot get enough of this print it is so beautiful I just love it and the handle the blue handle it has a nice little blue um, rim I absolutely love that and I think it's perfect to drink out of if you choose to use it um, for beverage but I think it'd be absolutely beautiful for a floral arrangement it's just such a pretty picture okay and then the next thing we have here let me move my little penguin friend over I was really wanting these y'all to wake up early in the morning because I tell you if you want to see any of Pioneer Woman stuff that is out of stock wake up early in the morning and check it make sure you put your email in because they will email you and let you know hey this item you've been looking for is in stock I have been looking for these three bowls because I saw nesting bowls I saw when she posted them on Instagram I said oh my god those are so pretty with the gingham and then just those beautiful flowers it's just so Christmassy and perfect to bring out every year for Christmas so let's get to it we're gonna start with this top um, bowl just look how beautiful the tree is with the flower along the um, rim just around the edge it's just so the decorative flowers and the tree it's just so pretty I love that tree and that is the favorite kind of Christmas tree I love my what is that like a Douglas bar I don't know what is that a Douglas bar when they look like that it's, it's one of those trees, y'all. <laughs> anyway, a pretty tree. Anyway, so this is what the inside of this is. I love it. Perfect for whatever you're serving. You can use this on the dinner table, buffet. You can use this when you're decorating cookies. You can use this for cookie dough um, to put in the refrigerator. You can use these things for all kinds of things, but they're good for storing. You can even use these in your craft room. But what I love about it is that they have this top and it has that plastic rim to keep everything nice, safe, and snuggy. So you wanna lift that top up and then you just press it a couple of times and you put that and look it is safe in there it's not going anywhere and I absolutely love that it is just the cutest little bow now let's get to the gingham one I'm loving that she added the gingham the gingham is so pretty for the holidays just look at that red and like an off-white gingham is so pretty and that is red in the inside and you can use this for all kinds of purposes whatever you're storing whether it is food or something you just want to keep fresh and that's the red and white so let me press this one down again all right that is the the um smaller one so now let's get to the bigger one we're going to release that top take that off and you can see all around the rim that's how they look and this is easy to clean if you need to get in there and clean there remove this clean it let it um, sit out and, and get rid of whatever scent you're trying to get rid of. And then just go ahead on and insert it right back in. I love that. And then this is the teal in the inside. It's got the teal. And then look on the outside. This print is just lovely. Look how pretty it looks with that poinsettia. It's just so beautiful. Those roses are gorgeous. I absolutely love this set. And I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on it. So we press that down and that's not going anywhere. And they do nest. However, they make me nervous, but I'm going to show you how these bowls nest. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to nest them. I'm not real comfortable about nesting these because they're very hard. I don't like to hear it clean, but let me show you how you would nest these. So we have the top to the medium here. And you just take that out by pulling it right there. So top to the medium goes down. 
you're going to bring the medium here you can keep those little papers that she gave you you go ahead on and place that guy there and then you're going to take this one go ahead on and close that and then you take the top close that press close and that's how you can nest them away and you just put them away and they're good to go there we go I will I will never lift it from here I would always lift it from there and then you can just put it away now you guys I was so upset I looked for this set and it just kept first it wasn't even available for you to order it and then it sold out I was just devastated now let me see the box to this so then I order it, you guys it gets here and I'm just like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, I can't wait. So the box come and I'm just like, oh my God, this is just, I'm so happy, this is a happy moment. So I'm just like, oh my God, this is awesome, I'm just too excited. So I'm looking around to see where, cause you can't open it here. So then I turn it around and I'm just like, and I see, I'm looking and I see this broken glass with a big circle. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? So then I open it, and then there's a box. Well, we're, well one of the, um, let me show you which box. Where is it, Mommy? Yeah. This box is right at the top, and it's already open. So this had been opened. And I think what happened was they either, somebody either returned it, and it was in the warehouse, but the person didn't see that, and they sent this one to me anyway. Then they wrote broken glass on the box. So you guys, I went in and I was devastated because it's really one of the ones that I really want. But just look at that. We can kind of get an idea, right? How pretty that is. He is supposed to hang over here, but he's broken. So anyway, I love Walmart's customer service. I called them and I'm like, oh my gosh. The glass, one of the glasses, or um, the mugs are broken that came into the set. And it was, um, uh, I explained to them that broken glass was written on it and everything. And they said, okay, um, you'll just have to order another one. And, and I said, okay, so where do I send this one to? Do I take it? They were like, well, it was our mistake. Just go ahead on and keep it. So I'll have two sets of this. But anyway, let me show you what they look like. They are so adorable y'all know the sweet rose is one of my favorites it is my favorite tea cup coffee mug whatever you want to call it look at how adorable i love the footing on these absolutely love the cup inside is like a beautiful light blue love the little enchanting whimsical handle it is so adorable just too pretty for words y'all know and look at the hummingbird that is my favorite bird in the world and i just absolutely adore this little teacup i'm going to stick this up here it is just so pretty teacup coffee mug just so cute so i'm going to take each one of them off for those of you who love red and blue this is just darling little set of different festive y'all know pioneer woman is known for her just colors she is just so bright and cheery that's what i love about her products everything is just so bright and cheery and this one's red and it's got the red footing on that as well so adorable we have this vibrant beautiful yellow one isn't that gorgeous can y'all see that look at that and then the footing on that look how bright that yellow is and just the beautiful flowers on there and how bright it is inside and what i love about these are this darling this darling little stand it is so adorable and even if you choose not to put pine and woman you can even put your own teacups that you choose now i don't know what size plates you would need to find plates that match that this matches perfectly but look how adorable these little plates are i love that they're thin and not too thick and these are not saucers these are actually little plates where you can put a couple of cookies well basically what they have here you can put some cookies and you can put a muffin and this is not i mean you can use it for that if you want you can absolutely use it for that if you want but i think it's just darling either way however you use it isn't that just pretty 
So that is the red and the blue. And then we're gonna come, now this is the one, I'm breaking things myself. Now this is the one where the mug broke, but I did buy the set of mugs that matches this. It's just not this match set. So I said, well, you know, I'll just use that mug with that. So this is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that plate, the butterflies. I love the scalloped edge. I just think that's so cute how thin the plate is. It's just so dainty and really, really cute. And then we're gonna come to my favorite of them all. I could take all of these being sweet rose, actually. <laughs> and my favorite is the sweet rose. Just look at that adorable little plate that is so cute you can buy a bunch of these and just use them at a tea party they're just this is just so tea party worthy this little this little plate and then we're going to add that just on top and in case you want to decide to use it as a saucer and a mug isn't that cute that is just so adorable look at the footing on that this is my face. I tell you by far, she did an excellent job on that. Okay, and so then the next one, we're gonna slide this over here and we're gonna bring this yellow out. This set is so cute. Perfect for um, entertaining your guest at the coffee bar. Nice to entertain your guests at the coffee bar. Girlfriends over, you may not wanna use your fine china. You still want something really cute and festive um, or whatever, just a pretty, you bring out these and you guys just enjoy a nice piece of little pound cake or whatever and great conversation right so adorable I absolutely love this little set so cute and then this is what the entire little holder looks like as you can see and then they have the four little hooks and I love that you can grab it here and if you're carrying it somewhere you can take it to whatever table you decide you want to take it to and so you just hang those back on like so so yes you do it that way and then you got the red one here and I can just show you that other mugs do fit just set these little plates down here just layer those little plates so cute perfect for your guest I think it's just absolutely adorable for your guests and just look at that little plate. Y'all, I cannot get enough of this sweet rose set. She did so well with that. And then if you ever decide, like I said, you don't want to use the Pioneer Woman, I'll put this over here just so that you can see that this is a clear mug that fits perfectly right there with the rest of them. Okay? It's plate and mug. Yes plate and mug so those little mugs but they look like mug teacups to me and it's nine pieces but you know I'm missing one but I'm fine with that <laughs> okay now let's get to this now the other day I have a video going up tonight by the time you guys see this video this video will be up already I went to a place called Knoxbury Farm last th um, Friday the day after Thanksgiving and it is a place if you're familiar with my um, if you're from California I've lived in California or visit it um, then you would be familiar with Knoxbury Farm especially if you're a Southern California Californian and um, it's a cute little old like um, what would you call it? it's an old Western town style like little amusement park it's the first amusement park ever but people are saying that um, uh, what is that in New Jersey the one in New Jersey we don't know the name of it but the one by the beach we heard that's the first one so I don't know I'm not gonna fight that fight. I don't know who's first, but out here in Southern California, we know Knott's Berry Farm is the first one. So anyway, um, we went to the food festival for Knox Mary Farm, and I went last month and was not prepared. Coney Island, there we go, Coney Island. So I heard Coney Island was number one, but out here in Southern California, it is the first one in California. Now Coney Island can be the first one in the United States, okay? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think or, or, or what's truth to that. And give me some backup proof. Anyway, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so yes, we went last month to the fall festival. And y'all, it's a food festival. You pay $35 or $40. You go in, you get five entrees. But if you go a little late, you won't make it on time and you'll end up getting your food. And then if you don't have anything to put it in, you waste money. So I said, uh-uh, honey, she's not doing that next time. So when we went Friday, 
I purchased this um, maybe last Tuesday and it came the very next day. And I uh, took this with me and absolutely fell in love with that. This is the, let me show you the tag because I kept it. It is the Pioneer Woman's Gorgeous Garden Lunch Tote Set. And it's a three piece, y'all. I am so in love with this set and the print. Let's just talk about how beautiful the print is. This did so well last Friday, amazing. I made the mistake and put things frozen in here thinking that the drinks would fall out child she had ice drinks couldn't even drink anything because it stayed icy all day <laughs> okay so anyway let me open this up for you love her signature butterfly there and then she's got a beautiful little signature pioneer woman tag there on the zipper her little hardware is really really cute love the deep pockets on the side as you guys can see those pockets really helped us and I love that it has that ruffling but it's tight so whatever you're putting in it's going to be tight matter of fact, what's in here now see how tight that is yeah whatever you're putting in it is going to be tight it's not coming out and I just love that that gathering right there it is just so adorable the print is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it's the same on this side and I have had some people say oh I didn't like it because when I try to clean it it it, it the color bled I did I cleaned this and there's no bleeding no bleeding but what mom and I tried to do was keep plastic as we were putting it down in each place that we were going um, stopping to eat so anyway this is the pocket and y'all we still got stuff down in here I mean, look at all this stuff we got we got paper towel and child she was ready this is the plastic that I would sit down on the table so that I this would not get dirty I would lay it down and put this on top so that it would keep it clean and y'all know she had her little snowman paper towel <laughs> a napkins but anyway look how deep that pocket is on the side don't you appreciate that yes and then let's go on the inside first let me show you because it's a three-piece what it comes with so it comes with this cute napkin it's like a um what is this called it's her zippered mini bag mini bag and aluminum hydration bottle insulated tote with interior radiant barrier lining exterior pockets and added storage and let me tell y'all you are absolutely going to love this especially if you're traveling road trip plane trip whatever what i loved about this is that you can use this for your purse but i kept it with the bag and what i put in here was our um i put our utensils in here all the forks and spoons that we needed extra to make sure everybody was staying covid friendly free and it is just absolutely amazing y'all just look how pretty the bottle is can we just talk about it and people were like I don't like the bottle because it was too this bottle is very light but it's aluminum and I love that and if you put anything in the inside you want to make sure that this bottle is protected enough where so much stuff that it stays up it has no room to fall because if you do that, it can fall. This top does not stay on like real, real tight, but it does its job if you were to, to pack it where things keep it up. And then it also had a little hook, you know, for anybody who may want to use it that way. So you just put it on and just twist it and make sure that whatever you're putting in there with it, you want to keep it up if you want to keep it inside to keep it insulated and that this item cold, just put a lot of stuff around it. Just put it on the side and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And actually, oh, the sides are insulated too. Look at that. So you can put this on the side and your drink will stay insulated and will stay upright. And you keep the bag upright as you're traveling. You're doing good. I absolutely love this bag and it did so well. It performed so well. Look how this comes up here. And just look how deep this bag is. You can fill this bag with so much stuff. Easy to clean, just wipe it out, clean it really good, disinfect it, and save it until you're ready for your next road trip. It is absolutely perfect for anybody, single, married, children. You can put their snacks in there. You can put their little beverages, have their little cups. 
in another bag, chow, pour it, give them some sh like sugarless, you know, sugar free, not too sugary drinks. But anyway, it is just absolutely amazing. Your fruit, your ice, whatever you want, warm or cold, this bag is going to provide keeping it cold or hot for you. I absolutely love it and I'm going to buy another one. Mom and I absolutely fell in love with this bag. It is perfect for traveling. And that is what it looks like, okay? All my little friends are cute tonight. Isn't he cute? Hello, everyone. He says, hello. I got him from Bath and Body Works two years ago. I just want to show you all, this is how I store this bag. It fits, this is how I store this bag. It fits perfectly in these plastic bags that I buy from Daiso. See how it fits perfectly and that keeps it clean. I make sure it's dry completely so there's no mold that gathers and then I just put it in here and then just stuff it away. Oh, it's windy. Put it away. All right, that's how I store that. All right, you guys, so I wanted to put the boxes on the table before I close this out. I put the light a little brighter too. Before I close this, I want to let you know that this set does come with two individual boxes inside. I should have showed you, I'm so sorry, I do apologize for that. It's already sealed and I'm gonna put it in my storage um, for later use. But anyway, this is perfect, it's called, it, that's why she has it, keep one, give one. Keep one for yourself and give one as a gift if you don't keep them both for yourself. So anyway, that's what the box looked like for the 1.5 quart slow cookers. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in to journey with Char. If this is your first time ever seeing my channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit the notification bell. Every time I upload a new video, it will alert you and you can come check me out. And also please, I would appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you so much. You all be blessed and remember, be kind and loving toward one another. Kindness is not only good for others, but it's also healthy for yourself. All right, remember always to trust God, keep him first and he'll always lead you in the right direction. I'll see you soon. You all be blessed. Bye-bye.